Howdy gamers, I have a bad case of the morning voice, however, it's time to game. Now the main goal for today is I kind of want to go and get base 90s. And we're going to start with Hunter, and it works out, because there is a task to catch a bunch of herbivore. And I've never actually done this method before, I'm kind of curious how it's going to go. I've heard that it's really easy, and there's a ton of points locked behind this, so let's check it out. I'm assuming with the plugin it'll be like, a joke? <laughs> probably just turned my brain off. Uh, I'm going to be doing elking during it as well. We'll probably finish up magic on the way. And the very first one, 33,000 hunter XP, and then you harvest it. Nice. Just checking the list, you can see that it's 480 points we're going to get here, and it should only take a couple hours. Oh, I expected this to take it a little bit longer. Receive a Torstal from a herbivore. Now the chance of that goes up with your herbivore level, so maybe just because I'm 99, it's so common. Easy 200 points. This is honestly like really relaxing. I am enjoying myself. What a great way to start my day. 98 magic. Only one more to go. Already at 50. It's going so well. Here we go. 150 herbivore done. 200 points and boom. 99 magic. That was a worthwhile grind. Ended up with 95 Hunter as well, so not too far. I can definitely just finish that with aerial fishing. That would be like the most efficient way, and then I'll knock out some of the fishing I have left. I'll probably finish the rest of that by AFKing Salmon and Trout like I've already been doing. As far as the base 90s go, all we have left is runecrafting and mining. Let's get it done. I'm pretty sure my best runecrafting is going to be death runes. Now it takes forever to get here. I've had to run all the way from Lechia, but once I get here, I can save it with the crystal of memories so it shouldn't be too bad i'm gonna be very sad if i mess up <laughs> and lose the save i'm sure that's gonna happen at least once and this is exactly where not having banknote is kind of hurting at this point i feel like it's clear banknote is the winner um I, I do still like fire sale but on the max and grind dude i would love to have banknote it'd make this so much quicker there's the death tiara it'll save me an inventory spot and yeah, the method is going to be very simple. We're going to go to the bank, grab the essence, go back, craft, last destination, and repeat. I'm not sure if the pouches are going to be better XP per hour. I'm just going to try both for a bit and see which one comes out on top. And that was also a medium task for crafting 50 death runes. Just in case, we're going to bank the construction cape so I don't accidentally use it. That would be bad. Yeah, just imagine. If I had banknote, I could be doing this every single tick. Oh, if only have not been here long, but it does seem like this right here is about 1.3 mil an hour, which is kind of what I expected. So now I'm going to go and use the pouches and see if it changes. Oh god, yeah. This is so much better. I am currently getting over 2 mil an hour. It's that good. The issue though is the pouches are going to be breaking constantly, so I do have an idea. First, let's make sure I don't lose the last recall. All right. Go to my house. And then we're going to switch to Lunars, and we're going to be using NPC Contact. Hopefully I'm able to cast it. Moment of truth. Can I talk to the Dark Mage? Okay, it looks like I can. Can you repair my pouches? There we go. Nice. And I don't know, it's a little more fun having to do the pouches too. Definitely prefer Herbivore, but, you know, I'll have a good time. Yeah, just look how satisfying that is. Oh, fuck, it happened. I already lost my last recall. Oh my god. I'm gonna run all the way back. Maybe it's not even worth doing death runes. Maybe I should do, like, natures? It's less XP per essence, but... I, if I lose the recall, it, it's not gonna matter. Oh, we'll, we'll do it one more time. Either way, I'm only gonna be doing this up to 91, so we can unlock the double natures. Because to get the mining done, I'm gonna just go and finish the diaries I have missing. Mining is probably the skill I'm most worried about with maxing. I just don't have any good methods, really, and eh, not my favorite skill anyway. So I can just use lamps to get to 90. And to do that, we, of course, need the 91 runecrafting. If I do lose this again, I think we'll probably switch to natures. Craft 2,500 Essence into Runes. 80 points. I was hoping to go a full hour. It happened again. And I'm still only 85. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, off to nature's, I guess. I am disillusioned. But thank god. It is over. 91 rune crafting. Double nature's unlocked. And I can stop doing this method. Oh, this seals the deal. I... Fully regret taking fire sale. Sure, it was great at the start, you know, for that construction method I did. 
had a lot of fun with it, but man, oh man, banknote, so much better. Wow, I really have done two pretty decent skill and grinds today. Lots of progress. But with that out of the way, we can move on to the diaries, which can take a variable amount of time. It depends on the RNG. I need to go and get the gout tuber for this step right here. Exchange gems for a machete. Now, early on in the league, the gout tuber was actually not boosted. It was bugged. Uh, but it should be boosted now by the five times drop rate. So it's not even that hard to get in the main game. Won't be that hard on the league then, hopefully. One of my friends did take an hour for it with the five times. So surely we just, you know, won and done it. Before I start, I'm going to go get some trading sticks. So I'm going to mine some gems here. And now that I have the charged glory, I might be able to get this task. There we go. Mine five gem rocks in a row without failing. The glory just makes it almost guaranteed. I'm sure it's really hard without it. But yeah, we're looking for these lesser gems. Don't really care about these other ones. That was very quick. Let's buy the red topaz machete. And then we need to get a full outfit. Put that on. 40 points. Put that on for another 80. It is a wonder how I've not done that yet. Now for the fun part. We're going to use this machete and try to get the gout tuber. That is awesome. I was really hoping I'd get two brutu victims. Luckily, I got two of the same type, which is exactly what we need. There's a task to have a matching mask and shield. And you got to use the mask to make the shield. So, yeah, you need two of these. And uh, th these were only like a minute apart. Super lucky. Um, I do still need some snake hide. I I'm pretty sure I have snakes in my region either way. But I can get them as events here. And that would just be convenient. We're uh, still looking for the Gautuber, though. I think I'm actually like past the rate because it should only be like 1 in 20 events. And I've definitely seen 20, so hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. We've already been here for like 15, 20 minutes. Fucking finally. There it is. Spade. Bam. Oh. The GoTuber's mine. <laughs> 80 points for that. Dude, I went like four times dry. I've been here for like almost two hours. But it is okay. We are done. Um, I need to get a little bit more... I need to get a little bit more trading sticks quick. Sell that. Nice. All right. So I just need to bring this to Safta Dock up here. I believe he's at the anvil, right? I've done this so many times on the game, and I always forget, like, <laughs> where this man's is. Why is it not letting me make it? What's going on? Oh, I feel like I do this every single time. You have to repair a single fence and then talk to Mercaly, and then you can do it. <laughs> at least this part's not RNG. Right on. Should be able to do it now. Yes, it's done. Okay. <laughs> With that done, let's make all this green. Oh, and we can do this task. Wield the shield? 40 points. As much as I have grievances with fire sale, gotta love the farming relic, because I can just skip this task. So quick. Hard diary done. Ooh, a double whammy. Got the mediums done. And yeah, this is not the last LC of this place. I do have to go get 100 tickets eventually. I'll be back. And at last, the elite diary. Let's just do them all in one go. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're amazing. 80k, 160, and 800,000. 88, not bad. And we do have the Crumbs of Gloves 4, which I kind of wish I had earlier because it's just a really good way of getting to Shiloh. <laughs> I no longer have to go and use the two Leprechaun to Brimhaven and then run to the cart. That's gotten old. Um, this is going to be really good for like the elite clue step over there. And anytime I need a Slayer task. I only have one more diary left. Varrock. I have to get Soul's Bane done, which is a fairly long quest. And 153 kudos. i got to figure out what I'm going to do for that. Let's do the quest first. Done and dusted. I always forget how comical some of the designs in this quest are. you got to appreciate that like mid-2000s RuneScape vibe. Okay, time for a quick RNG grind. I need to get the... Skull Scepter. Wish me luck. Got him. Totally forgot about this. Another RNG grind. I don't know if it's boosted, but hopefully we get the clean necklace pretty quick. Oh, well, I don't think it really matters if it's boosted. I just got it. <laughs> Alright. I got another lamp from Historian Minus. Into mining. 16,000. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that is the hard diary complete. And then we just need to teleport to the dig site for the mediums. Easy as that. That was way better than the stupid Karamja diary. Before I forget, though, I need to teleport to Fossil Island with this. So let me unlock that teleport. Because knowing me, I'm definitely going to forget. I think I use it on this. Yeah, that makes sense because it's, it's literally on the book. And then rub. 
Fossil Island. 40 point task. This is gonna feel good. What's up, Toby? One, two, and three. Of course, you guys know the drill. 120, 240, and 800,000 once again for 90 mining. I hit it. And that is base 90s. Oh, we're getting close to max. Today is a good day. And even though today has just been just straight skilling and diaries, I got 1,800 points. That is not bad at all. And you know, I've given it some thought. I really do not want to do that runecrafting method again, especially all the way to 99. That'd be so many hours. And I don't even have the pure essence for it. So I'm going to be doing some experimenting. I think the Zaya runecrafting is actually going to be a secret weapon. Now in the normal game, it is fairly slow because there's so much running involved. But if I make use of the last recall, it might reach pretty good speeds. And another reason I want to do this is if I go for 99 runecrafting, I should get a good amount of mining as well. Less I'll have to do. But yeah, I'll play around with this method, but I think the general strategy is going to be mine the blocks, bank the blocks, and we'll do the processing later. But I will leave the results for tomorrow. I think we're probably like two more days until maxing. I am excited.